Hey guys, what's happening? Jamie here from Unbox. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Asus Zenfone 5Q, aka the Asus Zenfone 5 Lite, a phone that we first saw at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. As you expect, the device is a step down from its sibling, with none of the AI functionality that the Taiwanese brand were touting, but it's still a plenty capable device. Even though this is the Lite version of the Zenfone 5, the 5Q still features pretty much the same build quality you have a metal frame sandwiched by glass. It looks really premium, but as you can imagine, you'll need to wipe it down often because you won't be able to avoid smudges if you plan on using it without a case. The device is pretty light, weighing in at 168 grams, and while its dimensions are pretty much what you'd expect from a 6-inch device with an 18x9 display, it feels thicker than most. This is most likely due to the fact that the back of the device doesn't round out to make it fit better in the hand, and upon spending more time with the phone than we did in Barcelona, we've had to adjust our grip more than usual to reach the top of the screen or across it. Let's take a tour around the device to see its button and port layout, starting off with the right side where you'll find the power button and the volume rocker. You have access to the SIM tray on the left of the phone, and we're glad to see that we're seeing less and less of the hybrid SIM tray and more triple slotted trays. You have the headphone jack on top of the device, and finally on the bottom is where you'll find the micro USB port, flanked by speaker grills, though only the right side actually houses a speaker, with a microphone on the left. As mentioned earlier, the Zenfone 5Q has a 6-inch IPS display with an aspect ratio of 18x9 at Full HD Plus resolution. You're not getting a wider color gamut on the 5Q, so expect it to have the same color saturation as most IPS displays out in the market, though viewing angles are great and the panel definitely has enough brightness to be used outdoors. Also, it's hard not to miss one of the biggest differences with the standard Zenfone 5 and the 5Q. This one doesn't have a notch. Just a bit of bezel on top, bottom, and a little bit on the side. Speaking of that top bezel, it houses two front cameras a 20 megapixel main camera at f2.0 and a secondary 8 megapixel wide angle camera at f2.4. The front cameras feature night HDR mode so you can capture more detail in low light and of course portrait mode for a bit of that software assisted bokeh. On the back of the device are two more cameras. The main camera is at 16 megapixels at an f-stop of 2.2, equipped with face detection autofocus and support for 4K video. The secondary is also an 8 megapixel wide angle camera at f2.4 to get better photos of picturesque landscapes or simply get a group shot without the one taking the photo yelling for you guys to compress to fit you and your friends in the entire frame. You'll also find the fingerprint scanner on the back of the device, though you do have access to facial recognition if that's your cup of tea. Under the hood of the Asus Zenfone 5Q is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 630 processor with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of expandable storage which means you've pretty much got the same hardware as one of the variants from last year's offerings. That being said though, navigating through the device is quite smooth, and we're eager to see how it stands up to our typical usage, though technically, it should have more than enough zipped for your standard social media apps and a bit of gaming as well. Out of the box, the 5Q runs on Android Nougat 7.1.1 with Zen UI 4.5 on top of it. But the company is eyeing the third quarter of this year to bring it up to Oreo and the latest version of the UI overlay. You're still getting a few pre-installed apps here and there, but definitely not as much as they used to put on their devices. Juicing up the system is a 3300mAh battery, which should last you till the end of the workday and possibly longer depending on your usage patterns. And that's pretty much it for this quick look at the Asus Zenfone 5Q, which should be available next month. 
Pricing for this device has yet to be revealed, but definitely looks promising given the price tag for the Asus Zenfone 5 Pro that was unveiled during Mobile World Congress. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. Got questions? Leave them in the comment section down below, and we'll try to get to them as soon as we can. For all the latest tech news and gadget reviews from the Philippines, head to Unbox.ph and follow us on Facebook as well. This is Jamie, and I'll see you next time.